I'm Robert Scoble and I love my iPad, but you know, when we first got it, the knock against them was this is not a good place to create content. Well, Flowboard uh, says hell with all that and they've uh, created a whole uh, touch publishing system, which is really interesting, really great way for somebody like me who does photos and videos and slideshows and presentations to put together content that would be uh, very interactive. We're gonna see it right now. And who are you? Hi, I'm Brent Brookler, founder and CEO of Flowboard. I've been doing mobile internet startups for like 15 years. I got into internet early on, and I've been doing mobile since like 2000. Uh, I had a startup called Mobilis. Uh, in 2000, we did the American Idol text voting program. We made games on J2 and me and brew phones. Woo! Yeah, and then the uh, good old days. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and then I started this company. Uh, it was originally Tremo back in 06, and we've gone through many iterations, but now we've arrived at Touch Publishing and Flowboard, and we are debunking the myth that you can't create on iPads, and putting the power of creativity in people's fingers and gestures, and utilizing their content to make uh, interactive uh, publications and uh, stories and presentations using Flowboard. So uh, why, why do you think we need Flowboard? What, uh, and what, who is this for? Is this for, uh, it, well tell me who is it, for. It's for, it came before like multiple uh, uses. We're seeing a lot of traction in, in education. We're seeing traction in business uh, presentations and personal publishing, you know, photo albums. And what we've done is we've, we've really iterated on what a presentation or interactive story can be. And we've done it all from the iPad. There's 120 million or 140 million iPads out there and people want to ditch their laptops. And so they want to be able to create and edit and do all the things they do on their laptop while they're on the go. And right now we think the, the, the phone is a little too small. We, maybe we look to go to there in the future, but right now we want to perfect, perfect the iPad experience. And we have this notion of touch publishing where you use your fingers and gestures and utilizing your existing content from Facebook or Dropbox or Box or Google Image Search, uh, you grab your content and then you publish out to a, a web player. No, that's, it, it's pretty cool. Let's, we'll see it in just a second. What's some of the press you're getting? We've gotten some really great press out the gate. Uh, Cult of Mac gave us this uh, amazing review calling us the most important app to download this month. And if you don't download a lot of apps, maybe the most important download all year. Um, we've written up in Pando Daily, uh, GeekWire, which we're based out of Seattle, so we like the hometown pride, yep. uh, and, uh, and a bunch of others. Uh, 148 apps gave us editors uh, choice, so we're getting consistently high reviews. But more importantly is the feedback we're getting from users. Like we got this one guy wrote this morning, you guys are brilliant, and we just get feedback and, and great uh, user suggestions, and we're really taking those suggestions in and quickly iterating. We're already at, we, Two weeks after we launched, we've been out for three weeks, we put out a new update, and we're gonna have another update probably within three to four weeks, and we're just moving fast and adding all the features that our users want and making it the best possible experience. Well, let's see it so we understand why you're getting this great press. Um, so take us through, uh, can you show us one of these uh, flow boards that somebody else has created already? Or? Sure, I could go into a library. Um, this, is a, this is something the guy, gentleman sent in from uh, Nottinghamshire, the county of Robin Hood. He wants us to feature this, so we'll just go through this. He built this uh, I, 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 a few days ago. He sent this in, so this has photos, videos, some text. This so it is, looks almost a, like a book or a magazine layout. Do, do you have different layouts that he we could have, have chosen? We have uh, um, uh, uh, 15 templates, but we have, they're all server-based, so we keep on adding templates. We, had three, we added three last week, but with the power of uh, touch publishing is that you can change uh, things all, all around. Yeah. Um, we actually have our press kit. We just built our press kit in, uh, in, in Flowboard. Right now you see it loading. We are huge advocates of offline online. So it's loading this Flowboard and then it's available for me offline in cache. Oh, so that's I can cool. turn this off. I'm at a conference where the Wi-Fi is terrible or 3G or 4G doesn't work right, but this will be there for me. So this is like just a simple, um, you know, that's our press release, and these are all our icons. 
and it's just a simple uh, use case, and you can you can grab all, all these. These are uh, web-based. So, what's also really interesting about Flowboard is we have so it's it's a, a side-scrolling publication, but notice these are links. So you can link to different screens, or you can link out to web pages. You can can also, you scroll up and down, or just sideways? Just just sideways now. But okay. when you go into, let me go and show another. Uh, I just want to show. Let's go to the catalog. Catalog is where we feature uh, user submitted yep. uh, flowboards. Here's one we featured a little while ago. This is going to take a second to download. So this is a gentleman out of uh, Italy, and I just want to show this because it shows a uh, our gallery. And so in the gallery, you can zoom in, zoom out. It has all the different photos there. And so what it is, it's a deeper, it's a deeper interactive experience. Say the use case is that I'm giving a presentation and there's more detail down here. I can either go into that detail or I can just keep on going to the next, next screen. And then here's another set of, uh, of galleries. And again, that has all the images right here. And you see how fast this, this loads? It's because it's cache charging to memory. Now, that's really, really cool. Um, can we see what it looks yeah. like to build one of these Yeah, things? let's do it. So you go into uh, the My Flowboard section. You tap Create. We have all these different templates. We did some Mother's Day, which we should probably take down now. Um, and as you can see, we have them for multiple uses. So this is a, you know, more of a social photo album thing. This is for a portfolio. This is for presentations, scrapbook, a science catalog, et cetera, business presentation, school. So I'm going to grab um, this one. Okay. It already had downloaded. That's why it's super fast. And so it immediately prints one screen, and then I can choose to add other screens. We have a, an amazing designer who's cranking out these, these screens. So I'm going to choose this screen type, and it draws it automatically. So now I'm in the creator. We have a simple menu here on the right-hand side where you have object, view, share, and save to draft. I can tap the Add Object button, and now I have a new object. And I can just move this around. We have kind of our own interaction system where you create an object, and then you tap it, and then you add content to it. Well, that's really cool. So say I want to add an image. Uh, I'm going to go to uh, Google Image Search, Macklemore. Let's do a, uh, I do this for everyone. The ego search. Ego search. You've heard of it. So then we tap on that, and boom. And then I could do something like this, make it bigger, and I could just zoom in and zoom out. We have basically uh, four main gestures. When you tap, you do the tap and hold, and that moves, sorry, that moves things around. Touch either pans or zooms. And we have the three finger, which moves between different screens. And then we're in play mode, it's like that. That's um, awesome. And so you get out of the, the preview mode, and I tap it again to, to, uh, to activate it, then I can also make this into a link. I can link wow. to a screen, or I can link out to a website. Now, you've chosen the fonts for me. Do I have font controls and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, well? in the templates, we kind of constrain them. But in, if you went to like a blank template, it's, it's pretty much wide open of our set of, of fonts. Um, it's okay. like 15, 20 or so. And uh, how, how are you going to make money with this? Because it, well, it's, it's a free app, right? Yeah, it's free. There's a, it's a freemium model. OK. So it's, a, um, it's a based on upload quota, and there's a couple premium um, features, and we'll keep on adding premium features. And there's also a file upload size. There's, it's 100 megs now, and you go premium, it's up to 200 megs. Can you put a YouTube video in here? We actually haven't launched that yet, but I'm glad you asked that, because we just built that. Uh, it was one of the things that our, uh, our users have been asking for, so I'm just going to drop this on top, hit video. Um, oops, went, sorry, just a second, YouTube. And we think we have built the best way. It's not just put a URL in. It's actually using search. Because who knows these URLs by yep. hand? And then watch this. In our app, you can watch videos. Cool. If the Wi-Fi uh, if the, puts if, up if, with if it. If the Wi-Fi liked it, we could watch videos. Um, it's going to start in a second. 
But the point being, so, oh, I like this, I like this one. Yeah. I want to put that in, in my flow board. It drops it, it grabs the screen grab, and puts it right there. You hit play, and boom, and this page is already created with a link to the video. That's cool. So that isn't out, that's coming out in our 1.2 release, which will be out in like three or four weeks. So you can really see that this is like a modern page maker. I mean, I, I remember being in college and yeah. laying out stuff like this for uh, printing on paper. Now you're distributing it yeah. to uh, other uh, yeah. iOS devices. Yep. By the way, I, if I make this, yeah. can I view this on the web? Or yeah. Where can yeah. I view this? So when you when you're when you're done, and this might be a little challenging with uh, the Wi-Fi. You don't have to show me. Just tell but me. But you basically you share what well, you publish and you share, and it produces a URL, and then you share that URL on email, uh, Twitter, Facebook, wherever, or you can just copy the URL, and then you can distribute it anywhere. And there's a web player. The web player works on all devices, but if you're on an iPad, it sends you back into the device because we think the iPad is the ultimate uh, viewing experience. It's more interactive. It's 100% it's native. And, uh, no, it's really, really beautiful. Yeah. Um, and it's been out for three weeks. Yep. How, how many people have used it so far? What, what kind of? Tens of uh, thousands. Yeah, so there's probably a, a few hundred or a thousand uh, magazines or, what do you yeah. call these boards? We're calling them flow, flow boards. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and it, it's pretty interesting. Now it's not like Flipboard, Flipboard's for reading yeah. news yeah. and Yeah, this and is curating. all your, your own content. The only thing that, the, we are almost reluctant on the YouTube piece, but because we've, we have our own systems to do video, we can drop your own video in here and, and it will work offline. YouTube won't work offline because it's all streaming. Yeah. But users want it and then you have access to you know tons of video obviously so um, that's the only case where you're not really using your own content everything else is your own content you can grab from Dropbox or box or your own photos on in your albums or, or uh, in uh, Google image image uh, search and we're going to be adding more in the next version we're adding SkyDrive and uh, Google Drive in uh, this 1.2 version we're Do you moving really quickly on this. Does this space have any competition? I mean, I, I guess Haiku Deck is the closest thing, which is also another Seattle company. Yeah, that's. Uh, it's, What's going on in Seattle? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's the water or something, uh, um, or the rain. Uh, they're similar to us. We think we, we see that they they overlap. Um, we think that we're doing um, a bigger thing in terms of t touch publishing. We we like what they're doing. Um, in terms of its simple, beautiful Yeah, they're more of a direct competitor to PowerPoint or just for presentations yeah. where I could see doing this for magazine style layouts exactly. and all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We're, well, a lot we're of really, fun. Yeah, we're really excited. This company has been around for seven years. We've built, we've had a back end to allow people to, to share content for a, a relatively long time. Then we uh, had some issues in the 08, 09, but we, we stuck it out. We stayed in the game and we started building apps. We built some really big apps. We built 60 Minutes and CNET News and CBS News and Survivor and Big Brother. And that's why you have this kind of fit and finish because you've, yeah. you've been around the block and we, built yeah. a lot of apps. Yeah. And but this one nice. is 100% ours and we're all in on this. And uh, our team is great. It's a mix of designers, artists, and engineers but we, when we start, set out to build this thing, we're like, we're building this thing to be the best, and that's what we're gonna do. No, very, very cool, and I, I, I can see the fit and finish was just was pretty high. Yeah. I, I understand where you got the great press. Uh, tell me about the company, how is it, they, tell me again, how is it funded? I think you might have covered uh, it. So we're, we're seven years old. We yeah. had raised uh, VC in the past, and we have like an interesting story that no one really has. Uh, we basically, we lost our funding, and um, then we went basically went back to bootstrapping and raised a couple like small bridge rounds and we're just finishing a bridge for this and then we'll see where we go from here. Very cool. Yeah. It's always a struggle to get and get companies to go. Uh, how many people are working? In About there? a dozen. A dozen. Yeah. yeah. Really good quality. Yeah. This is what it takes to get into the top top level of iPad apps now. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Really. The, you the have to go. You have to go all in. We have a great design team and. And there's been a lot of discussion slash um, intense debates about every feature in this to make sure that it's the best possible user experience. And then we're taking that our internal gut instincts and then looking at data and then looking at what the users are saying and just going to make this thing better and better and are better. Are you going to license this to other, like API it so that let, let's say a Flipboard wanted yeah. to allow its uh, users to create content like this? Potentially. I mean, we're open mm. to, to all kinds of uh, you know, relationships with various, uh, you know, partners and users and companies. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, great job. It's, uh, I like playing with it, so yeah. keep it up. Uh, where do we uh, learn more about your company? Flowboard.com or at Flowboard or Facebook.com slash Flowboard. We got all the Flowboards, uh, and it's in the App Store, of course, or search Touch Publishing. Very cool. Yeah. Thanks for coming out and showing it Thanks me. a lot. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Cool. It's for real. Yeah, it's really it's nice. It's a real deal. Oh.